Were you successful? Let's implement this together. For this in the input folder, in the components folder, we got this new comment JS file where we have this form and that talks to the comments JS file where we sent the request for adding a comment. And that's the part where I want to trigger my notification in basically the same way as I did it for the newsletter sign up. So therefore what we need to do here is we need to use context by importing that from React and then of course import the notification context from going up, going up, store notification context and tapping into that notification context with help of use context so that we get our notification CTX here as well. And then I really want to do the same thing as I did for the newsletter registration. So I'll quickly copy the code from there actually. When we get started, right before we call fetch, I want to set the pending notification. So with that copied in comments.js, here in the add comment handler, right before fetch, I'll call notification context show notification and I'll just change the text. Here I'll then say sending comment and as a message maybe your comment is currently being stored into a database or anything like this. And the status is pending. Now in this last then block, we know that things worked. So here, instead of console logging, I want to show another notification with a status of um, success, where we say success as a title. And as a text, we can say your comment was saved, something like this. Now it would also again be good to have error handling and there we can also utilize the same logic as for the newsletter registration. So this if response okay check and this nested promise for throwing an error. I'll copy that code from the newsletter registration and add that here as well. Now that means that we can now add a catch block here at the end where we catch any potential errors thrown from inside this promise chain. And there we then want to say error. So we want to show a notification with a text of error and then show that error message here or some fallback uh, where we say something went wrong or anything like this. And the status of course should be error. And that's already it. That's the first part and it's really the same as we did it in the newsletter registration. Of course, therefore, you could also refactor this code, uh, look into using a custom hook, for example, things like that. But I will go with this more explicit code here, since I think that also hopefully makes it a bit easier to understand what each component does. So therefore, if we now give this a try, if I click show comments, let's test this. If I try to submit something invalid, I still got this front-end validation. And if I now do enter some data here. This is a test. If I click submit, I seem to have a typo if I look at this, the way it's written. So yeah, let me fix this notification context instead of notification context. So let's get rid of that typo here. And I guess I have that typo in a newsletter too. Yes, I have. That should be the notification context here as well. And I also want to get rid of that typo in all those places. Since, the, since I had the typo there in all the places it worked, but of course I don't want to have that typo anywhere. So I fixed it in both files so that this is notification CTX now. And with that, if we test this again, we see the pending state and the success state. And then after three seconds, it's removed. And if we send multiple um, comments, this also works. So now I added a couple of comments and hence if we hide and show them, they are loaded again. And of course we could also look into doing this differently so that we show an added comment right away, but that's just not the focus here. Instead, I now want to work on that loading state because if I do show them, the comments may take a while to show up 
And it would be great if we could show some loading text whilst that happens. Which means that I don't want to work with my notification context there, but really just show a little loading text in this component here. Now it's the comments.js file where we fetch comments here with use effect, and that's where I want to manage my, well, loading state. Hence, I'll add a new local state here, because not everything has to be a global state. If a state really only affects a single component, there's no need to use a global state. And then here I'll set this to false initially, because that is my is fetching comments state with the set is fetching comments updating function. And here in use effect, if we are now showing comments, I'll set is fetching comments to true because we are now loading. And if we're done eventually here, I'll set is fetching to false. We could also add error handling here. Feel free to do this as a bonus task. I will just focus on showing a loading state for now. So now with that, we're uh, managing this state. And we can now use this state to either show the comment list if we have our comments or to show some um, loading backup text. So here I will tweak this and I'll only show the comment list if we are in show comments mode and we're not fetching, so not is fetching comments, because else if we are in show comments mode, but we are fetching, then I want to show this loading fallback text here. That's how we could implement this. And if we do it like this, we see that if I click show comments, we see loading initially before the comments show up. And that's exactly the behavior we want here. Again, there is more you can do. You can tweak this however you want, but that was the task here. And most importantly, that was how you can use context in a Next.js application.